How familiar are you with NASA's discoveries on Proxima b, the closest exoplanet to Earth? Is it suitable for life? In this video, I will explain NASA's research in all its enigmatic glory to discover the Proxima b through the James Webb Telescope. Watch the complete video so you don't miss any of its parts. Let's start the video. Since NASA built telescopes sensitive enough to detect exoplanets, the Space Agency has continuously discovered new planets in the universe, adding to our growing list of incomprehensible cosmic mysteries. Proxima is one of the most intriguing exoplanets, and scientists worldwide, including those at NASA, have spent a great deal of time and effort studying it. What, exactly, do they know about this mysterious planet? Is there life on that planet? It's time to learn the truth about Proxima b, as revealed by NASA's studies. The first photographs from NASA's magnificent James Webb Space Telescope have been revealed. Astronomers are so overjoyed by these superb photos of faraway cosmic giants that they are moved to tears. However, to the untrained eye, they seem identical to the classic Hubble Space Telescope photos. But these images reveal a secret reality. The James Webb Space Telescope is so powerful that it is set to usher in a new era of astronomy one that will not only shed light on some of the universe's most mysterious objects, but also compel mankind to acknowledge its status in this enormous cosmos. Precisely what is the James Webb Space Telescope then? That's what it is. The biggest telescope astronomers ever sent into orbit. The primary mirror is enormous at 6.5 meters in diameter. Thus, it had to be folded in half to transport the spacecraft on a rocket. The focal length zoom is likewise impressive at 131.4 meters. The Hubble Space Telescope, by comparison, has a focal length of 57.6 meters and a mirror diameter of 2.4 meters. With James Webb Space Telescope's massive mirror, faint and distant galaxies that even Hubble could not see are now blazingly clear. Thanks to the massive focal length, we can focus on these distant things and get clear, detailed photographs. NASA ironically, no one has seen Proxima b the closest planet to our solar system, although it is also rocky, about the size of Earth, and may be populated. Astronomers have seen the planet's gravity tug and wiggle the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri as it orbits the system. Unfortunately, neither space nor ground-based telescopes that are now in service or that have been carefully designed can get unfiltered images of Proxima b. It is a significant distance away, at 4.2 light-years, its year barely lasts 11.2 days, and its orbit is too near the star's surface for humans to tell it apart from its glare. Whether or not Proxima b, optimistically called the Earth Next Door by Scientific American, has an atmosphere or is an airless, lonely wasteland, like the moon, is one of the most severe problems surrounding the planet. Two Harvard professors have proposed that NASA's upcoming James Webb Space Telescope launch in 2018 might quickly achieve this aim by simply sampling light from the star system. Scientists can use visible light to determine whether the planet is habitable. A habitable atmosphere and ocean are unlikely to form if this happens. Proxima b orbits Proxima Centauri in the Goldilocks zone, an area with exactly the right amount of light and melts water. The star is just 4 million miles away, which is only approximately 17 times as far as the Earth is from the Moon. Thus, this is the reason for the alarm. Scientists say that the same side of Proxima b is always facing Earth, much like the Moon. This is because both bodies are tidally locked. Because of its orbit around its star, Proxima b is always illuminated from one side, while the side facing away from the star will remain permanently in the dark. Water on Proxima b would be preserved from evaporation into space, and the planet's temperature would be more evenly distributed between the day and night if it had an atmosphere. There may be a livable ring in between the day and night sides. What would life be like on a tightly locked Earth orbiting close to Proxima Centauri? The presence of clouds, wind, and water makes this a complex problem. But you might know if the rock was exposed or used to circulate heat. Lob estimates that the ocean and atmosphere transfer at least a third of the heat on Earth. The focus on infrared light the same color of warm, invisible light that human bodies constantly create may help to rule out the presence of an atmosphere. If the planet is made of rock, the star's radiation will warm the planet, and the planet will radiate heat as infrared. In contrast to the infrared light given off by stars like Proxima Centauri, the kind of radiation emitted by rocky planets is uniquely their own. 
NASA's James Webb Space Telescope was built focusing on infrared light. Instead of trying to see a tiny planet in a flood of visible light, the James Webb Space Telescope could need to hunt for specific wavelengths of infrared radiation amid the glare. Depending on the time of day, the moon takes on a very different look throughout its many phases. As the planet completes one circle around the star, you may picture it going through several different phases. Scientists may see the star's day side after traveling close to it. They would glimpse the star's dark side if they were to stand directly in front of it. The hue, or temperature of Proxima b, will vary as it orbits its star every 11.2 days. If Proxima b's night side is warmer than expected, then the planet is likely surrounded by an atmosphere warming the surface. Failure would make Proxima b as uninhabitable as a rock. This kind of thing happens all the time. By the traditional saying, if you turn over a rock and find one insect, there are likely many more in the area. Cryogenic testing is performed on mirrors, with gold plating for the James Webb Space Telescope. Astronomers often refer to objects in space as balls in the field of aeronautics. Even though Proxima Centauri is just 5% of the distance between the Earth and the Sun, its star doesn't burn as brightly as one would think it has only one-eighth the mass of the Sun. Liquid water might exist on Proxima b if the planet has an atmosphere to trap heat. The total energy striking Proxima b is just 65% of what Earth receives from the Sun. Nevertheless, Earth isn't exactly a paradise for sustaining life. It is most likely tightly locked, meaning it constantly shows the same side to the star. This causes extreme temperature changes between the day and night sides. Because of its proximity to Proxima Centauri, the planet is bathed in ultraviolet light and X-rays at a rate 100 times that of Earth. Even without a protective magnetic field like Earth's, Proxima b gets bombarded with high-energy particles during star flare-ups. There is, however, a decent range of conditions that may make it a pleasant planet. The discovery of Proxima b has triggered a race to determine whether or not the planet orbits across the face of its star as seen from Earth. If such transits could be detected, scientists would have a far better idea of the planet's size and mass, and therefore be able to compute its density. The composition of a planet may be deduced from the starlight that travels through its atmosphere during a transit. It would be fantastic if it really happened. However, the orbital alignment probability for scientists to see a transit is just 1.5%. A further complication is the star's potential to flare. There is still a chance, even if Proxima b doesn't make its passage. In the next decade, astronomers may get our first direct glimpse of another possibly habitable world, thanks to a new generation of huge telescopes or space-based observatories that can block out the light of Proxima Centauri and collect the planet's light directly. This was all from my side to guide you about the NASA telescope discovery on Proxima b that changes everything. Please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon if you're new to the channel so you don't miss any new stuff.